this is our autonomous remote parking demo at the Nissan N360 out here in California. What we have is a vehicle that will uh, remotely park itself. We're going to show a simulation where the vehicle uh, basically gets dropped off in front of the shopping mall, the driver gets out, initiates it via the key fob, and the vehicle automatically will locate a parking lo location and park itself. But he'll be completely hands off and feet off during the demonstration. So our driver then initiates the parking by activating the key fob. The doors lock and the vehicle will proceed to try and locate a parking space. We're not using any map data, we're not using any uh, exterior infrastructure, it's purely using the onboard sensors to uh, navigate through the parking lot and find an open parking place. So using the onboard scanners, we've identified a vehicle as pulling out. We've applied the turn signal. Now the vehicle will pull up alongside the parking space and confirm that the parking space is open and check the dimensions that we'll be able to park there. Backing in is, the, is a more difficult maneuver. Of course, the vehicle could pull into a parking space the more traditional way, but we set up the demo this way, and actually backing is the most maneuverable way to park, so we can get into the tightest, smallest parking places by backing in. After the vehicle parks, the driver will again hit the key fob as a recall to bring the vehicle back, and the vehicle will autonomously return to that exact same starting point and pick up its driver. So right now we're demonstrating with a typical key fob, but our intention is to expand the range of that key fob, so it'll cover uh, just about any parking area with long distance uh, communication to be able to recall the vehicle. We do use GPS data, but only to identify the starting point and the ending point where the car parked to understand that relative distance and to navigate back. But again, there's no internal map data or map data of the area required. It purely uses the laser scanners to identify vehicles and our around view monitor to notice uh, the lines in the pavement. So you can see in this situation, we have cars on our left and only lines on the right, but the vehicle is still able to navigate down the center of the lane as we return to the home location. We have people in the vehicle, but in the real world, the car would be navigating by itself through the parking lot, and you can just imagine uh, the reaction we'll get. And uh, that's one of the issues that, of course, we need to deal with moving forward, is that customer acceptance and realizing this technology is real and the vehicle has the capability to do this. If you consider Motoring TV's been on the air for 30 plus years, there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to motoringtvshop.com, get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram thing.